ancient Jewish culture, wine was a symbol of prosperity and good fortune. This wine blessing celebrates helping each other in our families, our friendships, and in all of our relationships. Together, let us bless our lives with community by sharing our joy, our spirit, and our bounty by inviting visitors to join us, by welcoming the stranger, by caring for those in need. The fruit of the vine, with it, let us drink to life. Pray hagafen, ito nishtesh l'chayim. L'chayim. simple pleasures of the Sabbath help us feel extra soulful, extra alive. Some Jews even believe that on Shabbat they get an extra soul, neshama yetera. Secular humanists can po poetically translate this into an extra breathing. Since Shabbos can give us extra breathing room, for living life to its fullest. Yet as each Shabbat ends, we return to our everyday lives of work, school, chores, and may I add retirement. Thus, the extra soulfulness, the extra breathing room of Shabbos also goes. As we mark the end of Shabbat with this Havdalah service, we pass around and smell a ceremonial spice box called a hadas. Hadas is the Hebrew word for the myrtle, a lovely aromatic shrub, the branches of which were passed around by our ancestors in their Havdalah rituals. Folklore describes this cust custom as a remedy Jews use to revive and console themselves after they supposedly lost their extra souls at the end of each Sabbath. In truth, smelling the spices comes from the practice of burning incense in ancient temples, both as an offering in itself and to cover the smells of other burning sacrifices. After the destruction of the second temple in 70 CE, Burning anything during the Sabbath, including incense, was prohibited as a form of work. However, as time passed, incest was largely replaced, first by the aromatic branches of the myrtle tree, and then by spices, which increasing, in increasing numbers of common people possessed for cooking. For cooking. Among Jews, only Yemenites and a few others continue to use incense in their ceremonies. Today, the Havdalah spice box contains a mix of spices, just as our communities contain a diversity of people. As we smell the blended sweetness of these spices, let us appreciate the lovely bouquet of the world's diversity and the expansive possibilities that we encounter with our extra Shabbat soulfulness and breathing room. Let us also sense the bittersweet. Entering the hurry of the work week, we so often lose our extra soulfulness, our Shabbos consciousness, our appreciation of ourselves, each other, and the diversity of the world's wonders. Work is a big part of life. Most everyone, except the richest of the rich, the retired of the retired, work for their bread. However, work must not be allowed to push out life. We need Shabbos. More importantly, we need rest and beauty. We need to stop and smell the roses. take a moment of quiet reflection as this is intended to be. <laughs> <laughs>